Hey, it's Alan. Welcome back. In this lesson, I'd like to show you how to show like a stars rating where, you know, if there's four stars, five stars. And in the uh, um, all pages images folder, I have this stars.png file and the black stars are actually transparent and the background is white. If you downloaded all the software, it's in the folder there. Okay, so and the page we'll use is going to be that video list page and that's in videos templates. Um, there it is right there. And right now we have three columns across the top, edit, title, and author. We'll add a fourth column and we will call it uh, rating. And then we'll make a table cell down in the body of the table, put it after video author. And that one, in that one we'll just show a uh, video dot stars count for starters, just so we can see what number's in there. Okay, and then this will be a good place to take a minute to check our work, make sure that this much works at least. So we'll go ahead and run it, pop open the browser, go to the video list, and there's the rating column, so it's working. But what we want to show is star ratings, not the numbers. So um, let's go ahead. It's going to be in this same column. And let's start with putting a div in there. And I'll throw the number inside the div and now we're going to need a couple style rules this will be for the fourth column where the ratings are and that's going to be a hundred pixels wide and we'll make it relatively positioned so we can absolutely position stuff inside there later and then we'll do a style rule for the div itself that will be absolutely positioned let's say the width is 50 percent for starters Put it in the top left corner of the cell and uh, give it a height of 18 pixels, the height of the image. And oh yeah, let's give it a background color. In fact, I think I'll put that first, even though it could go anywhere inside the style rule. Okay, so I added two style rules. This one sets the width of that fourth column to 100 pixels, which is the width of that image, the star's image. And we set position to relative because that just makes it easier to accurately position stuff within the cell. You can use absolute positioning within the cell. And then this one refers to the div inside that cell. And we're saying it's golden color. It's half the width of the cell. It starts in the top left corner and it's 18 pixels tall, which is the same height as the star's image. So now would be a good time to test to see if at least that part works. Yep, that's right. Each of the cells has a gold bar and it's about half the width of the cell. So making progress. Okay, so now each bar is half the width of its cell because we have a width of 50% specified here. But actually the width we want is going to be determined by video.stars count. So got to get rid of this width. That was just for testing. And then we're going to have to set the width inside the table cell because it's going to be different for each cell. So we have to go da back down to the HTML code and this div, we have to define its width right here in the div tag so that it's unique for each row. And so we need to say specify the style within the div and it'll be a width. For now, I'll just stick with 100% so we can test it. This is a little complicated, so if you kind of work your way up to it, it's easier. So let's see if this code works. And if it looks way off, you can refresh the page or even do a hard refresh. Um, but it looks like all they're all 100% width. So now we just have to calculate the actual width. And part of that will be stars.count because that's the number, like 5.0 or 4.0. But uh, we need it to be a percent and actually 20% times whatever that number is in there. So we'll say calc, open parenthesis, 20% space, asterisk space, and then close the paren right there. And the reason it's 20% because it, like if it's the star rating is five, then 20% times five is 100%. If the star rating is four, then 20% times four is 80%. All right, so the width of the bar is a reflection of the rating count. And we can go take a quick look at that too. Well, their lengths do vary, so that's probably right. It'll be easier to tell once we get the stars in there. So 
that will be that image. And so what we need to do is put it in an image tag below the div, not inside the div. It has to be in front of that. So its source is going to be that stars image from the static folder. And the code for that is open curly brace percent and then the word static and you have to put in a percent and closing curly brace and then inside quotation marks the path to the image and it starts from the static folder that's what the word static means so you want to go static all pages remember that first subfolder has the same name as the app and that allows you to have multiple static folders uh, but anyway uh, our path is all pages slash images slash stars dot png. And we might as well have the tooltip text show the uh, count number. And we can verify that the uh, bar is showing the correct value. And we might as well make that the alt text too. Why not? Now we have to be really careful how we position this stars thing. It's got to be in front of the uh, gold bar, so let's go make a style rule for it. We'll just copy the one for the div in column four. Change div to IMG so it applies to the image. Um, oh, Z index. Let's make sure the div itself has a Z index of whatever, say 100. It just has to be less than the image. Uh, we don't need a background color on the image. The position is good. It doesn't need a height. It does need a width of 100% because each bar is a fraction of 100% or 100%. All right, and we need a Z index higher than the one above, so it's in front of the bar, so we'll just say 110. All right, let's take a look. Run it in the browser and refresh and... <laughs> I've seen this error a few times. First clue, red text in the code, something to do with static, uh, a little higher. Did you forget to register or load this tag? As a matter of fact, that's exactly what I did. Back to the code, it's telling me now that this, um, this is a problem here, it doesn't know what I mean by static, and that's because whenever a page uses that, you have to put at the top, well, not maybe the second line, not above the extends, you have to put and uh, curly braces and percent load static. One of the many things that's easy to forget to do in Django. All right, so let's run it again, get a clean start down here. Hey, success. Should be able to touch the mouse pointer to one and see the value. Yep, 4.0, 4.0. 2.5, that's right. So let's edit this one. We'll change its star rating to, I don't know, one or something. And click update, and that should take us back to the list. And sure enough, one star. Alrighty. And the next lesson, we're gonna talk about limiting a user's access to content based on their role within the site. All right, see you there.